Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Love Island's Arabella Chi has revealed she suffered a secret miscarriage last year while opening up about a life-changing health diagnosis. Arabella, 33, told fans she has polycystic ovary syndrome, COS, as she shared her struggles with cystic acne, hair loss, and severe period pain. The reality star took to Instagram on Friday to candidly discuss her symptoms and how they have affected her self-esteem. In a heartfelt video, she disclosed that her diagnosis came just two days after experiencing extreme pain during her last period, severe enough to consider calling an ambulance. COS is a common condition where the ovaries do not regularly release eggs, become enlarged, and can contain small follicle cysts. It also leads to an overproduction of androgen, causing irregular periods, excess hair growth, acne, and infertility. Arabella began her announcement by expressing her desire to use her platform to discuss her concerns. She revealed she had suffered a miscarriage in September last year, a few months before joining the Love Island All-Stars Villa in January. The influencer began, I recently got diagnosed with PCOS. Obviously, I am now 33 and I had been on the pill for probably 15 years, up until August last year, she shared. I actually had an unplanned miscarriage in September last year and decided to come off the pill because I felt it was time. Arabella explained that she had started the pill at 13 to manage her skin and painful periods, viewing it as a convenient solution. She also recounted her struggle with severe acne during her youth, describing the pain and depression it caused. I had child acne so bad you couldn't even see my skin on my face, she recalled. When I say growing up, I literally went through times in my life where I wanted to rip off my face. That was how painful my spots were and how depressed I was over my acne. After coming off the pill last year, she experienced a resurgence of symptoms, including agonizing period pain and hair loss. She explained, obviously as I got older, my acne did go down a lot and then when I came off the pill last year, I found that my hormones went through the roof. Even though in myself I was actually happier, my hormones were definitely not happier. I literally started having acne coming back on my face, when I get my periods I cannot move for an entire day. I am in absolutely agonizing pain to the extent that my last one, a month ago, was so bad I honestly thought I was going to have to call an ambulance. And that's when my mom said to me, you really need to go and see a doctor and get this sorted out. One of the side effects I had was that I actually started losing my hair. I started getting cystic acne and painful periods. Getting diagnosed with PCOS, I know there is no cure. That's kind of why I jumped on here, because it's an amazing platform to speak about things personal to me, and I'm sure there are also people out there also suffering with it. Which is why I want to open my Instagram and have you guys come on this journey with me, and give me advice, that I can then hopefully share with you guys. This is real talk because I feel like I don't really come on here and talk about my personal side of things very much. Moving closer to the camera to show her skin, she continued, As you can see, I actually have quite bad acne breakouts at the moment, like my skin is definitely not perfect. And I think with the job I'm in as well, it definitely affects my self-esteem. Like I am a confident person, but especially when I'm at the gym all the time I'm not one of these people that wears a lot of makeup so it's definitely something I want to start looking into. My acne is so bad, the hair loss, that's why I actually have extensions in now because the hair loss as a woman, it's not ideal at all. Arabella concluded by inviting followers to share their advice, particularly regarding nutrition and managing PCOS symptoms. She said, I know you can level out your PCOS with nutrition, so if any of you guys have any advice my DMs are open because this is a brand new thing to me. In the caption of her video, Arabella wrote, A bit of real talk for you all. One thing I have always said is I want to be able to use my platform to help other people and after recently being diagnosed with COS, I think it's the perfect time for this. It's new to me and since I have a mosh, 